Welcome to BSc Statistics students. In this lesson, I explain method of moving averages. This is one of the method to find the long term fluctuations in a time series data. Principle of least squares is one method. Method of moving averages, this is another method. What is this method? It is very simple moving averages. Moving averages. So, we have to calculate. Moving averages is a series of successive arithmetic means calculated for the values of a time series. Continuous, for example, you have 10 years values. Then if you want to calculate uh, arithmetic, that is uh, moving averages uh, um, for, for a period of uh, 5 years, 6 years, then it is to be calculated 5 years averages. So the next point is moving average based on the values a fixed time interval is called period of moving averages. Just now I explained moving averages is to be calculated for a fixed time and time period. For example, five years, four years. And then that is the four years is the period of the moving averages. Five years is period of moving averages. These moving averages are shown against the center of the period. The moving averages are to be placed at center of the period for example 5 years then center period is third third year then obviously you have to place against the third year like that then and uh, for example the period of moving average m then how to calculate moving averages then first to first average is nothing but the first period to mth term first term to nth term then second average is second term to m plus 1 that is we have to move by leaving one, you have to move to the second end up to the k m plus one. And uh, by moving, uh, if you want a third average, then you have to leave second one as well. And then you have to move, uh, consider a third average to third term to m plus second term. And so that uh, by taking the, by leaving the previous observation and adding another observation, we get the required moving average for the time period m, for the period m. Right. Here we have two cases, odd and even. You see case one. Case one is nothing but uh, if the period of moving average is m, that which is odd, and say m is equal to k plus one, then moving average is placed against the mid value of the time period. Mid value, center value, because of the odd numbers. For example, there are uh, five numbers. The exact middle period is third one. So we can place it. Uh, at the mid value of the time period and it occurs at t is equal to k plus 1. For example, 2k plus 1, the middle period, middle uh, time period is t is equal to k plus 1, at which you have to place it. Against to the, this particular time period, you have to place the moving averages. Case 2, if the period of moving average is even, that is m is even, say m is equal to 2k, then it is placed between two middle values of the time period. That is, uh, for example, four years, second and third years. Between that, you will get the uh, moving average. You have to place the moving average. But it is called non-centered. That is what uh, the place. Uh, we have to place it t is equal to k and t is equal to k plus 1. Between these two time periods, we have to place it. If, for, if, for example, 2k, time period is 2k. These values are called non-centered moving averages. Then these non-centered moving averages are not synchronized to any particular time period. So therefore, to synchronize this, what you want to do is non-centered moving averages to a particular original time period. Then we have to consider of extent of two moving averages, non-centered moving averages you have to consider and you have to take the average so that you will get the uh, moving averages. So these values are called centered moving averages. So Whatever non-centered, it is to be converted centered moving averages. Uh, and uh, now you have to place against t is equal to k plus 1. You will get exactly for a time period now. So therefore, these are called moving averages, uh, the method of moving average. Uh, this is also one of the useful method in the time series uh, for obtaining the long term fluctuations. Now I explain uh, uh, one particular, uh, I show you one particular problem, how to calculate moving averages. So this is what the data is given, uh, hope you understand, this is uh, one kind of data, uh, it is given for 1985 to 2000, okay. 
you see it to 2000 data is uh, visible right now how to calculate uh, some particular agriculture production is given and uh, first you see we have calculate we are calculating five years five years moving averages for five years moving averages what you have to do you have to calculate uh, what you have to do is uh, five years moving totals five years moving averages and the trend eliminated values of course we are calculating these uh, values five years means you have to consider one to five one two three four five one two three four five get the total so add these observations add these observations and uh, place against the uh, middle value is it not is it visible no just i'll wait for while a minute and so that uh, it can be visible right now you see these are the five observations five year moving total we are calculating five years uh, time period we have considered five years so that is five year moving total five year moving averages these two columns you have to add of course this is another column um, you can calculate right so we have to consider five for um, five years one two three four five five years data and then add it add these observations and uh, get the total after that divided by five you will get this value five year moving average this is what the average similarly leave the first one that is 25 that is uh, for for the year 1985 then again you consider uh, five years uh, data and uh, add from 28 to 25 here 1 2 3 4 5 and get the total and again and uh, write against the uh, center value what is the center value 1 2 3 4 5 this is third one that is 1980 88 previous one 97 87 this is 88 88 against the value you have to write the value get the total and then again divided by 5 you will get the average All right i hope you understand similarly by leaving 1 2 3 you consider the uh, next one that is uh, uh, 1 2 we are doing the third one by leaving 1 and 2 you can you go to the next one consider next 5 and similarly do the same procedure and by leaving the third one you have to consider next uh, next five that is uh, one two three four five like that you calculate moving averages get the total five year moving total five year moving averages that is this is what the calculation for uh, odd number of years odd period is odd if the period is odd case one m is equal to so for example 2k plus one that is odd now trend eliminated values are simple if you want to calculate trend limit value 32.2 and minus 32 it is uh, uh, 32 minus 32.2 it is minus 0 0.2 original values minus, minus estimated values that is uh, five year moving totals 36 minus 29.2 like that 40 minus 30 like all the values uh, trend limited values okay uh, now uh, I'll, I'll explain one more that is for even you see this is for even the data is given this one year and sales and you have to calculate four years calculate four years moving averages for which you have to calculate uh, you have to consider four year moving totals because these are they are the period year sales at variable sales you have to specify here year and sales and this is that what what you have to consider four year moving totals first of all non-centered four year moving averages which are also non-centered and two terms that is two terms you have to for two terms you have to consider moving average again that is uh, average for two values that is uh, a plus b divided by two like that moving averages which are centered right now four year moving averages again you have to calculate the two terms of the moving averages are centered and again uh, 
this is total and again four year moving averages you have to calculate here hope you understand we have to consider 1 2 3 4 and add and uh, for example 1998 1998 uh, the value is 118 you have to add all these four and uh, put against the one particular value that is the center value center period for these values are these periods are uh, time periods 1 2 3 4 center period is uh, between second and third this is that is this one this is called non centered this is called non centered hope you understand this is what non centered and uh, after that uh, you have to calculate divided by 4 you will get uh, uh, moving averages it is also non centered but it is not our answer you have to still go further and uh, this is uh, it is going to be you have to calculate uh, uh, like that you have to calculate moving averages uh, by leaving one by leaving hundred that is first year uh, um, observation and then you have to calculate 96 to uh, 99 99 one another value what is 99 value it is 128 by leaving 100 you have to consider next four and get the total and you have to place against the middle middle values that is uh, 1 2 3 4 middle of these two for these four these four years is nothing but 1970 to 97 97 to 98 between this this is what the non centered uh, value total and average divided by 4 you will get the average and uh, now you have to calculate two terms like that you have to continue the procedure I will show you and then uh, what you have to do is uh, next uh, two terms moving averages that is uh, you have to add these two and then again you have to consider average for this that is uh, because of two particular values we are adding arithmetic mean will be divided by two you will get this like that uh, we have to calculate uh, this is what your answer for your moving average centered these two are centered values now it is against the time period 1997 1997 right like that you can observe i show you you can observe the moving averages were calculated here you know, are the time periods we have calculated these are the non centered values non centered moving averages and then uh, uh, now you have to center by adding two continuous uh, you by adding these two you will get again this particular value and then you have to uh, get the average for this that is divided by 2 because we are adding two values this and this and then by leaving this you have to come come and add these two and you will get uh, this value for these values again you have to calculate average that is divided by 2 that is which are called four year moving average center these are the four year moving averages of centered uh, moving averages so this is what the uh, problem of calculating the how uh, we can calculate uh, uh, four year moving averages that is uh, even number the uh, time period is even if the time period is even how to calculate the moving averages non centered first we have whatever we have calculated which are non centered and then which are to be calculated as centered for center values again you have to consider average so final value is this one which are nothing but our four year moving averages. This is this last column. Oh, I hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you so much.